Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Maison African Motives, uh, still working on industrial electronics and tool. Uh, in this platform, guys, we shall be focusing actually on um, uh, the question paper, which was written in June 2022. Uh, on question number three, we had uh, something that is important that we can actually focus on that I want us to see here. Uh, so from this uh, part, we are given the first part uh, on question number three, which was define each of the following terms. So guys, when you're asked to define, you're giving a definition of the term that you're given. What is the meaning of that term that you are given? So without wasting much time, the first part on 3.11 was to define the ampere. What is the ampere? Uh, remember, uh, on your electrical uh, circuits, we have got uh, the introduction of uh, current. That is where we have got amperes. So we are talking about a current actually, but where is this current coming from? So you can just uh, define the ampere, okay, uh, as one ampere, okay. Remember uh, from your charge, okay, one ampere here, let me write uh, from uh, the definition of our current, we know that current is equal to charge times time. So that is where we can get the definition because here we're talking about a charge of one coulomb per time, which is one second. So this is one uh, one ampere of current. So this is one ampere of current uh, is actually defined as, all right, I'm just gonna write everything down. This is the movement that is the movement of, uh, so that is the movement of one coulomb from the charge here. So that is one coulomb. I remember the units of charge uh, past a given. So here I'm actually giving you the way that uh, department wants you to have these uh, answers. Okay, so this is past a given point in one second. Okay, a given point in one second. So the one second is for the time. Remember our definition here, uh, our formula. Current is equal to charge times time. So it's one coulomb, uh, one coulomb per one second. So that is where we got a uh, one ampere. So that is how you can actually define ampere from current. Okay, the other term is from atom. Uh, the moment we see atom, we are now back to uh, the analysis of uh, uh, the elements that we know, uh, remember the construction of a, an atom. So this is 3.12, we have called the atom. So what is it that you are, is the atom? So this is the smallest, uh, we are referring to the smallest particle that an element, so that's the smallest uh, particle uh, that an element, an element can be reduced can be reduced, so this is reduced here to, and still it must maintain its properties, okay? Uh, that is still keeps, okay? Uh, the properties of that element, the properties of that element. All right, so that's the definition, guys, that the departments actually uh, is uh, expecting you to have. Yes, we've got so many definitions, but remember, we are given a syllabus to work on uh, and even textbooks to work on. So that's what uh, these departments want, uh, what I want us actually to write as. Okay, 3.13, uh, we are given now the centrifugal force in terms of the atomic theory. Uh, we are now back to the atomic theory. What is it that we refer to as the centrifugal force? Okay, so that's 3.13. Okay, I'm gonna write it here so that it can be clear. Okay, so 3.13, uh, how can we give, or how can we define the centrifugal force? Okay, so that one we are referring uh, to the electron. So that one, uh, that's the electron revolves that's uh, revolves around the nucleus okay around uh, the nucleus oh, that's a u there on nucleus at the at high 
velocities. Okay, so that is high velocities. And as a result, and as a result, uh, it is forced away. Age. Okay. Just it forced away. That's away from the nucleus. Okay, so that's what we have on uh, on this part here. I just saw these definitions that direct. So uh, that's that was two marks actually two marks here two marks there. So uh, guys, as you can see, this is something that is clear. Okay, three point two draw. Take note when you are drawing these diagrams. Here it's draw a full wave rectifier, making use of a transformer. Two diodes, take note, two diodes, a center tape the transformer and a filter capacitor. Also describe the operation of this. Also, guys, read the instruction. Also describe the operation of the circuit deck. Okay, so we need a full wave rectifier that has got a transformer, two diodes, center tape transformer, and a filter capacitor. And after that, we are supposed to describe the operation. Okay, so that's 3.2. I'm just going to have my solution here on 3.2. So we are talking about a uh, full wave rectification or with uh, a transformer. Uh, that is, we are going to have a center tape. So I'm just going to show you uh, actually what we have. Uh, there can be so many ways uh, that you can use, guys. But here, I just want you to have something that is uh, unique. Uh, that you know, even if you are to draw it, you are going to or obtain full marks. So take note here, uh, we are going to have a C uh, supply, that is the input supply here being an AC, uh, that's our VP from the primary uh, windings here. Uh, then the secondary part now, that is where we are having uh, another, the part of the center tape here. So let's just hope. I'm going to win, guys. I'm not good at drawing, but I just hope you you see actually uh, what is happening here. All right, so we we got our transformer here, uh, a diode. So you're gonna have the first diode here. All right, that's our first diode. Uh, the second diode here. This is where we're gonna have our second diode. All right. Then the center tape now should be taken uh, from this point. So also take note how your center tape uh, is going to be because here you're supposed to be very, very careful. Okay, let me show you. I just hope we are going to win, guys. Okay, so we've got something like this. Um, from this connection, that is where now we are supposed to have our uh, capacitor now, remember? we must have a filter here. So something like this. Remember we said this is our D1, our first diode, our second diode. And this is the center tape that we are talking about. And here uh, we are supposed to show the indication of the transformer with this, all right. So I just hope it's clear. Okay, they're supposed to be straight lines, guys. Make sure there are straight lines, okay? Then from there, let's put our filter that is we are going to have a capacitor and a resistor that's a filter uh, okay that's the filtering part uh, remember your dc is going to be having ripples but because of the filter it is going to smoothen everything so that's what you're going to have all right let's just name uh, one or two things here from our center tape okay we're gonna have our this is our secondary side so we've got our vs here from the secondary side and the load resistor, which is our RL, the capacitor, and the output, which is now a DC. So here we are now having V out, which is uh, a DC now. Remember, uh, the purpose there is uh, on uh, conversion from AC to, to DC. So that's how we are going to have, guys. And I think it's a simple diagram, very, very simple. But be sure about the layout of the diodes the capacitor and the resistor. Okay, so that was our 3.2, but we have another statement which is left also describe the operation of the circuit. So how does this circuit actually operate? Okay, uh, let's see what happens 
Uh, remember, we are having AC here, and our AC is got a, a two uh, inputs that we are going to have. We can have uh, at the positive half cycle because when it is like this, the half cycle, then we can have a negative half cycle. So this is our negative side. This is the positive side. Okay, so let's see what is going to happen on these. Okay, so that's the operation here. Okay, so the first thing, uh, during the positive half cycle, okay, I'm gonna write it down. Okay, during positive half cycle, uh, the positive, okay, I can just write like this, guys, you understand this is positive, okay, half uh, cycle. Uh, D1, because this is positive, this is what is going to happen. This D1 is going to be forward by our D1, which means there's going to be flow of current on D1. Why list D2 is reverse biased for that moment? Okay, so that is what I'm trying to explain here. So during the positive half cycle, D1 is forward biased. So it will be forward biased. Okay, that makes current to flow on D1, okay? So by doing this, current is going to flow. So current flows. And what is happening on D2? We said D2, there is nothing. So D2 is reverse bias and there is no current of, uh, there is no flow of current there, okay? And D2 is reverse bias. That's reverse, is that the spelling? So that is it, is reverse uh, biased. That's it. So by being uh, reverse bias, guys, as you know, from our diode operation, this is a diode. Uh, it enables current to flow in one direction. So once reverse bias, that means there is no flow of current there. Okay. So there, there is no flow of current. No flow of current. That's it. Okay. So that's uh, during the positive half cycle. What about in the negative half cycle now? Because we have got two parts, the first half, the second half to make a full cycle. So on the negative cycle, we are now in favor of D2 in the negative. And that means D2 is now forward bias and D1 is no longer in use. It is no longer working properly. It is in the reverse bias now. Okay, so let's write during the negative uh, half cycle, during the negative half cycle, what type of spelling is this? Okay, half uh, cycle. D2 is now, forward, is now forward biased, okay? So D2 is forward biased. That is what is happening now. And that makes current to flow, okay? And current flows. Where is this uh, current flowing actually? It is flowing uh, in D2, okay? So current flows here through D2, to the capacitors there, okay? But at that moment, we are saying D1 is reverse bias. So D1 is reverse biased, okay? Just like what happened on that part, once it is reverse biased, that means no current is going to flow. So no flow of current. There is nothing that is going to happen here. So that is the operation. Just like that, you can hear full marks. Don't talk about a lot of things. Uh, this is going to, uh, we are going to repo, we are going to soft this, to smoothen the current, this and that, guys. No, no, no. Just describe what is happening only uh, on the diodes. You are done. Okay, so that's eight marks for that max for free. Okay, not for free, but you work for them. Actually, it's not for free. Uh, sorry for that statement. You just have to work for them, okay? But they are easier for us to obtain these marks. Okay, draw labeled symbols for the following. We just draw symbols. Okay, so the first part, it's a Zena diode. Guys, a Zena diode, as we know, is just a normal, uh, it's not a normal diode, actually, okay? It's not a normal diode. If I say a normal diode, I'll be lying. It's not a normal diode. Okay, so that's 3.31. I'm just going to have it down here. 3.31. Let me just have it here. 3.31. We've got a Zena diode. Okay, what does a Zena diode actually look like? Okay, just from our normal diode, but there is something happening uh, which shows the symbol of a Zena diode. This is a normal diode. When it is like this, it's a normal diode. But a Zena diode, you just make a Z. 
just like this it's now a zener diode just like that guys you are done so uh, on this part let's read and see what is happening we are not only drawing uh, okay just draw the symbol so that is it that's a zener diode as we know uh, we are going to have our anode and cathode Okay, that's our anode, that's our cathode, that's it. But a zener diode can be found in so many ways. I don't know which one is best for you. Just choose uh, the best for you guys. But I think for me, I just prefer this one, 3.32. Uh, we now need, uh, okay, let's check. I didn't check the question. Okay, what is happening now? Okay, okay let's see. Let's get back, photodiode and the LED. Okay, so the first one is a photo diode okay uh, i just want to it's uh, actually a nice part because we have got two things that confuse people here a photodiode and an led okay photodiode guys this one it is go it is taking in light it's taking in okay so this one is taking in the led is taking out it is uh, actually like reflecting light emitting to emit that is taking out then photodiode is taking in so this one is a diode a normal diode the way that you know that diode but take note at how the light is going to be uh, indicated because it's taking in light so you're going to indicate the arrows into the diode so that's a photodiode. So you can just have two arrows, three arrows, four arrows, five arrows. I don't know how many arrows do you want to put there. Okay, then we've got emitting now. It's a normal diode again, but this one is like reflecting back the light. So this one is putting away now like this. So that's an emitting. You are, we are emitting now. This diode is emitting, uh, taking out uh, or taking away light. So that was it, guys. And just knowing that always a cathode and anode. So this is your anode. This is the cathode. This is the anode. This is the cathode. So with this, you can actually obtain full marks on the circuit, uh, on these diagrams uh, that we are given the symbols, in fact, that we are given uh, on these uh, three, that is uh, the circuit symbols that we are given. Okay, so that was 20 marks for this question. Question three, just... 20 marks, guys, as you can see, uh, these are the marks that we actually need in exam. You can obtain all these marks. I guarantee you guys, as you keep on revising, you can obtain these marks. So that's it, guys, for Maison African Motives, working on industrial electronics and two. Just uh, not forget to share our videos, our social media platforms to your friends on social on uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, so that we all learn uh, together, preparing ourselves for the exams which are ahead of time uh, till we meet again.